Hi friends, today we'll go through how to set up Vagrant on a Windows 11 host running Hyper-V. I covered Vagrant in multiple videos before, but in those videos I used VirtualBox as a provider. As you probably know, Vagrant cannot run VMs as by itself and needs other hypervisors to do this. Even though VirtualBox is recommended, if for some reason you can't use VirtualBox on a Windows host, then here are the instructions on how to run Vagrant using Hyper-V as provider on Windows 11. As always, all used links and commands are in the description. Make sure you have latest Windows Terminal installed, which can be found in the Microsoft Store, and that you have admin permissions. You also need to make sure you have virtualization enabled under your BIOS settings. It's usually under advanced device configuration. I've dedicated a video to Windows Terminal for increased productivity if you're interested. By default, Hyper-V can't be enabled in Windows 11 Home Edition, but by using the following commands, you can. I've added this in the description to copy paste into your Windows Terminal. If you have Windows 11 Pro, then you can enable Hyper-V from the Windows Futures menu or by installing it through a PowerShell command and reboot when asked. Next, we can download and install Vagrant. In order to use Vagrant with Hyper-V, we need to open the Windows Terminal in admin mode. This needs to be done each time you want to use Vagrant with Hyper-V. This has to do with how Hyper-V works. If you use Vagrant with VirtualBox, then admin permission is not needed to run a VM with Vagrant. A simple shortcut can be created in order to open Terminal in admin mode. Simply copy paste the following path to your shortcut, save it, open its properties, and under Advanced, select Run as Administrator. Under Vagrant Cloud web page, you can find the VM you want to use, but make sure to select Hyper-V as provider. Then search for the type of VM you're looking for and copy the Vagrant init command to your clipboard. Make sure your Windows terminal is opened as admin. Create a directory for your Vagrant box and enter the vagrant init command to create the vagrant file. Now enter vagrant up to spin up the VM. Powering up the VM could take a minute. Then enter vagrant SSH to connect to your VM through Secure Shell. You're now in the shell of your VM and can navigate or install packages. Hope you enjoyed this video about setting up Vagrant in Windows 11 with Hyper-V and I hope to see you in the next video.